It slices through the sky with a menacing grace, a silhouette that screams power. This is the Chengdu J-20, China's mighty dragon. More than a fighter jet, it's a statement. China has arrived. For decades, American and Russian jets ruled the skies. The J-20 changed that, signaling a new era in global air power. Its design is all about stealth, a long blended fuselage, chiseled canards, twin canted tails. Every line is engineered to be a ghost in the sky. See without being seen, strike without warning. This is fifth generation technology, the pinnacle of aerial warfare. For China, the J-20 is a source of immense national pride. It's proof of the nation's rapid technological ascent and ambition to stand as a global superpower. The jet's public appearances are carefully choreographed to project strength and sophistication. Whether soaring over Beijing or making a surprise airshow debut, its presence is electric. It's a potent psychological tool, telling the world the PLAAF is now a top-tier force. The message uncontested air supremacy is over. China's Air Force once relied on imported or copied Russian jets, always a step behind. The J-20 is a homegrown masterpiece, the result of decades of investment and determination. It's a symbol that China is now a center of high-tech innovation, not just the world's factory. The dragon has taken flight, and the world is watching. The J-20's rise marks a new balance of power in the skies. It's the hardware behind China's message to the world. The mighty dragon is the face of a modern, assertive China. It's not just a jet, it's a declaration. The world is watching every move. The era of the mighty dragon has begun. How does the mighty dragon stack up against the competition? In one corner, the American F-22 Raptor, the gold standard of stealth fighters. In the other, Russia's Su-57 Felon, a super maneuverable brawler. And then, the J-20, China's contender. Each jet reflects its nation's philosophy. The F-22 is all about all aspects stealth and first strike capability. The J-20 with its frontal stealth is built for long range interception and striking high value targets. It's less a dogfighter, more, a stealthy hunter. The Su-57 prioritizes agility and raw power, with thrust vectoring for extreme maneuvers. Its stealth is debated, but it compensates with sensors and firepower. So, who wins? It depends on the scenario, pilots, and support. The J-20 is a formidable threat in the Pacific, the F-22 remains the king of stealth, and the Su-57 dominates in close combat. The real story, the US no longer has a monopoly on advanced air power. China has joined the exclusive club of nations with true fifth-generation fighters. That alone changes the global strategic equation. The J-20's existence forces military planners worldwide to rethink their assumptions. The balance of power in the sky is shifting. The mighty dragon is here to stay. The J-20's arrival was a seismic event, not just for China, but for the world. It shattered the assumption of uncontested Western air superiority, especially in the Indo-Pacific. Now US and allied forces must plan for a stealthy adversary capable of slipping past offenses and striking at will. Every operation near China's coast is more complicated, every patrol more dangerous. The J-20 has triggered a global arms race, accelerating new fighter programs and counter-stealth tech from Washington to Tokyo. It's not just military, it's diplomatic leverage. China's negotiating position is stronger, its territorial claims more credible. The mighty dragon is a silent, menacing presence behind every diplomatic move. The world listens when China speaks because the J-20 is watching. The balance of power has shifted, and the sky will never be the same. The J-20's story is one of ambition and relentless national will. In the 1990s, China's air force lagged far behind. The Gulf War was a wake-up call. Air superiority was essential. China launched the JXX program, aiming to leapfrog generations of technology. Billions were poured into R&D, new design bureaus, and training engineers. The biggest challenge? Engines. Early J-20s relied on Russian power plants, but China persisted, developing the WS-15 engine to give the jet the heart it needed. The first J-20 flight in 2011, timed with a US defense visit, was a deliberate signal. China was innovating, not just copying. From prototype to combat ready in record time, the J-20 stunned the world. It marked the transformation of the PLAF into a modern, global air power. The mighty dragon's journey from dependency to self-sufficiency is central to its legend. China now stands as a true peer in the world of advanced aviation. The J-20 is proof. China's quest for air superiority is complete. The era of following is over. China is now leading.
Why isn't China selling the J-20, even to close allies? The answer, technology security. The J-20 is packed with China's most sensitive military secrets, radar, coatings, electronic warfare, software, exporting it risks leaks, defections, or reverse engineering. Keeping it exclusive preserves China's edge and keeps adversaries guessing. Instead, China offers the FC-31 for export, keeping the J-20 as its ace. Selling the J-20 could destabilize regions and trigger arms races, something Beijing wants to avoid. By keeping the mighty dragon to itself, China maintains strategic advantage and avoids being seen as an arms race instigator. The J-20 is a crown jewel, reserved for China alone. Its exclusivity is a force multiplier and a message to the world. The J-20 is more than a machine. It's a symbol of China's rise. Its exclusivity elevates it to near-mythical status, a national treasure and guardian of the homeland. The unknown full potential of the J-20 injects caution into any adversary's plans. It stands as a silent sentinel, the centerpiece of China's anti-access strategy. The mighty dragon is the sharp end of China's spear, untouchable, unrivaled. As China's ambitions grow, so will the J-20's legend. It's not just competing, it's competing to win. And for now, the mighty dragon remains China's alone.